Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to be talking about vendor payment terms and what are those, right? Okay, you order products from your vendor and obviously they want you to pay for them at some point in time. Uh, if you have a regular account set up with a vendor, usually they might give you a net 15 or a net 30 and so you can actually build that right into your process and effectively you can order products from your vendors and QuickBooks will help you to know when your bills bills are due. Isn't that great? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pop into the vendor list here and we're going to take a look at, I guess, Knives Unlimited. So I'm going to hit edit on Knives Unlimited and we can see here that we have a net 30 with Knives Unlimited. That means as soon as we receive the products, uh, QuickBooks when it creates a bill it will know that you need to pay that bill off in 30 days and so you can look in your bills area and be like oh this bill is coming up due I better pay it now we also have the option here where if you have a special account set up with your vendor and you pay it off somewhat early some vendors will give you uh, maybe a discount so with Knives Unlimited we need to pay our bill in 30 days but if we quickly pay our bill within two weeks, 14 days here, we're actually going to get 3% off of the bill. And so we're letting point of sale know that. And this is where you edit it in your vendor settings. And I'm going to do a quick run through and show you what that means. All right, so let's do a quick receiving voucher just as an example. Uh, of course, the vendor is going to be Knives Unlimited. And I'm going to do, I think I have a knife in here. Sharp pocket knife. Okay, I'm going to receive uh, 50 of those. And then, of course, we are going to put in billing info. And I have the invoice right here. It's invoice number that. That's the invoice number. And you can see that our terms transfer right into the billing information. Net due 30, 3% within 14 days. So, uh, today, let's see, so I am going to choose the billing date, uh, I ordered these two days ago, right? So invoice would be due one month from two days ago, I'm going to hit close, and I'm going to save, and now that we've received this in, it will become a bill in QuickBooks Accounting. Real quickly, I'm going to update QuickBooks, should just take a second. All right, now I'm going to jump into QuickBooks. I'm going to go to my vendors. I'm going to find Knives Unlimited, which is right here. And we have a new bill with the number that I put in. And I'm going to double click on that to bring up the bill. And we can see that this bill is due on 10-8. However, we've got the 3% net 14. So if I wanted to go and pay this right now, I could take that 3% off. But if I pay it after 14 days, then it's going to be the full price. And that, my friends, is all about vendor payment terms and where you can edit them. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming on this quick journey on vendor payment terms. I hope you have yourself a great day. Don't forget to comment down below and I'll respond back to you. Thanks. That's where he wants to sleep. Yeah, don't they live in harmony with the birds? Because the birds like pick the stuff out of them. Out of their teeth or something. Ah, that's my alligator. <laughs>